<clears throat> so before this video starts, I quickly want to tell you all that this is just for educational and legit checking purposes. I do not encourage anyone to buy replica items and all the links that are shown in this video or given down below in the description are strictly for education. And now let's get straight into the video. Yo, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video and today we will be unboxing and reviewing this pair of Jordan 1 mochas from Yeezus. By the way, if the lighting and sound in this video is a bit weird, I'm recording this late at night and it's raining outside, so you know. But I'll try my best to keep everything normal and now let's get straight into the unboxing slash review part and talk about the seller a bit later in the video. By the way guys, I even downloaded legit app to like give you an even better review on my pairs. I just compare them to retail pairs on there that have passed as authentic and just wanted to let you guys know that I really do a bit of research before I review these shoes. So yeah, let's look at them. By the way, sadly, uh, with shipping, the paper here ripped a bit, which is kind of sad, but you know, whatever. And goddamn, these are beautiful. Like, this shade of brown and stuff, it just looks so good. And the leather quality is also pretty nice. Yeah, I'm a really huge fan of this. But let's get into more details now and look over some flaws that I was able to find. So starting with the outsole, pretty much looks perfect. The swoosh right here is the correct angle since it points to this lace hole, which is correct. The toe box is kind of like, you know, slumped down exactly how it's supposed to look like. We can take a detailed look at the Wings logo, which is really glossy exactly how it's supposed to be. It also has the perfect size. I don't know if you can see it, but the R and the D are touching. So this pretty much looks perfect. Uh, also, the suede on this is pretty alive. Retail actually has completely dead suede. This is probably perfect considering that. Then we got the inner side. This swoosh right here also looks correct. Suede right here is also really, really good. We can also see a bit of an hourglass shape, which is good. Then we got the tongue tag, which doesn't look that bad, but uh, I think it should be placed higher up there, really like far down but I wouldn't consider that a great legit checking indicator. The inside tag pretty much looks perfect. The sizing label looks really good. It also has a shoe tree in here. Yeah, the material on these are really, really. And I would say I have shown you everything on the shoe. Jordan ones are really easy to legit check and QC. So of course, there are also great replicas out there. So if you all are trying to purchase a legit pair, definitely be careful. The only real flaw on this pair is like the kind of flawed tongue tag but that could even be a QC issue and yeah let's take a look at the other shoe as well so here we also have the same tongue tag flaw I would still say it's not a great legit checking indicator Nike QC is not completely perfect although retail pairs don't tend to look like this Otherwise, suede also goes crazy on here. Uh, Wings logo is also really, really glossy. Swoosh is also correct on here, so this shoe also looks pretty good. <clears throat> By the way, these also come with an extra pair of white laces, which I'm definitely gonna be putting in since, you know, black laces are kind of basic. And yeah, I would say I'm gonna lace these up. And after some on foot clips, we're gonna talk about the seller. way here is the box label with the suggested retail tab which looks fine to me so i hope you all now know how to somewhat legit check a pair of mochas and and yeah i would definitely be careful when purchasing a pair of these they have basically mastered the rep versions and yeah shipping for these only took seven days so only one week shipping which is crazy the box is in okay condition there are some slight dents done to it but nothing that crazy it's still okay that's gonna be it for the video if you have somewhat liked this video make sure to like the video subscribe for more and if you have any questions want to tell me something whatever you feel like doing feel free to leave a comment down below that's it for my part have a great day